Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software. In this CAD Power video, I am going to show you a tool in our conversion section which, it, which can be used to convert splines to polylines. So if you run this command, it's called cp underscore spl to pl, you can convert splines to polylines. You have these following options, join fit points, control points, interpolate by intervertex distance, divide and so on. So let us try each one of these options and see how it works. So first let me take the join fit points option. So I select the spline and apply. This is the standard output control dialog and I'm going to uncheck this option which says delete original object so that I can see the original and the new one. So you can see this is the polyline which has been created by joining the control points of this spline. So let us put this in red color and so let us run this command once again and this time I'm going to say join control points. So I select the same spline. So that is what you get when you join the control points. So let's put that in yellow color go back to the same command and the third option is called recreate spline geometry by the DXF method. I suggest that you don't use this. This is an obsolete method which was used during the AutoCAD 2004, 2000 and release 14 days. So we don't need that anymore. You can try the fourth option which is interpolate by intervertex distance. This is probably the most useful. So if you have the spline and want to create a polyline at equal distances along the spline, then you can use this. So I've set the vertex distance as 100. And let us select this. So you can see this. Yeah, that's the polyline. So you can see this polyline here. I'm going to put that in cyan color. So you have a polyline along the spline which is at a interpolated distance of 100. Let's try the last option now which is divide. So what divide does is it divides the spline exactly into the specified number of parts. So if I choose let us say 10 I select the spline we put that in blue color so you can see that the spline is exactly split into 10 segments so obviously it doesn't 10 is too small a number for this spline to be able to represent it correctly okay so that is how you use cp underscore spl to pl command which you can start directly from the command line as well and run the spline to polyline command. Although the command is called spline to polyline, it can also be used to perform linear approximations and conversions on other type of objects as well. For example, this is a fitted polyline, this is a spline polyline and this is an ellipse. So you can use this command to operate on these as well. Say for example, we come back to this command and I'm going to use this option called interpolate by intervertex distance. Set 75 as the distance here. And you can see that the objects allowed by this command are spline, ellipse, polyline and lightweight polyline. So I'm going to select all of them here. So you have two polylines and one ellipse. And we leave the options as they are. So you can see that the splined polyline as well as the fitted polyline and the ellipse have now been converted into polylines with interpolated vertices. So the spline to polyline command is very versatile and you can use it for a number of operations to perform you know, different types of conversions on your spline. The command works identically in AutoCAD as well under the conversion tools it's at the same location and you can get get the same results from this command in AutoCAD as well. 
Thank you for watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions.